Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. If you like Barnes Vortex, you're gonna love this. Today we're shooting the 250 grain TSX bullet out of the 450 Bushmaster. And here's a look at the box of that Barnes Vortex 450 Bushmaster ammo. We'll flip it around to the back. Quite a bit of promo information just on the TSX bullet as a whole. You can stop, pause, and read that if you would like to. Flip it around right here. There is your velocity information and trajectory info. Doesn't have a, bullet, a um, barrel length listed, but we'll see how it does. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the ammo itself. See how big that hollow point is in there. We'll take one out. There it is. The hollow point tip on the front really isn't gigantic. Um, the 350 Legend version of this ammo has an absolutely massive hollow point, so I'll be curious to see how this does compared to that. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Ranch, chambered in 450 Bushmaster, of course. It's got a 16 inch barrel. Up top, I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would love to make you one. I will link it in the description and in the pinned comment. And over here, I've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And unfortunately, after the fact, when I went to edit this video, I found out that my microphone had crapped out when I went to film this clip and the next one. But we'll go ahead and just do a voiceover. So penetration was very consistent. 23 and a half inches, it looks like right there. 25, we'll give that one. And 25 for that one right there. So extremely consistent penetration with these three Barnes Vortex bullets. Um, and they look just incredible too. They look like they've mushroomed extremely well. Of course, we'll pull them out in a second. And then let's go over to the front block and take a look at the uh, wound cavities. Looks like we have some real nice wound cavities opening up pretty quick, about one, one and a half inches in, expand out, and then they taper off back here at about the nine and a half, 10 inch mark pretty good that's about on par with a lot of hunting loads across calibers that i've seen so really nice wound cavities here really good penetration looks like really good expansion overall it looks like some great performance of course we will dig these bullets out right here in a second take a look at them and uh, go from there and then on to velocity though let's take a look at what these things were doing looks like our high was 22.33, our low was 21.06 for an average of 21.86. And here are those Barnes Vortex 250 grain TSX bullets fired from the 450 Bushmaster pulled out of the gel. These things look absolutely incredible. I am floored by the performance. Let's go ahead and go over it. Weight retention wise, insanely consistent. The same across the board. 249 grains across the board. So of course that's the average. That is essentially 100% weight retention. And I would expect really nothing less from a Barnes TSX bullet. And then on to expansion. These did incredible. We saw 0.83 0.84 and 0.93 inches respectively for an average of 0.87 inches expanded diameter. That is 1.9x expansion. These things started big and they only got bigger. Incredible expansion performance, especially from a solid copper bullet. And then on to velocity. Our high velocity was 22.33. Our low was 21.06. So we did have a little bit of a spread there for an average of 21.86 versus the factory build velocity of 22.50. So we came in 64 feet per second slow. That's a lot better than a lot of ammo does. That's not too bad. And velocity is the last thing I'm worried about. 
And then on to penetration, we saw 23 and a half, 25 and 25 inches respectively for an average rounded up to 25 inches of penetration. That's really good considering how much expansion we got. I think this load performed great across all metrics. All right, y'all, time for my final thoughts on that Barnes Vortex 250 grain TSX load out of the 450 Bushmaster. This is one of my favorite 450 Bushmaster loads I have tested so far. Let's jump into it. I've got my cheat sheet here. Incredibly consistent weight retention, 249 grains across the board. We lost maybe one grain for each bullet as recovered from the block. So essentially 100% weight retention, incredibly good expansion, 1.9x expansion. And not only that, but it's consistent all the way around the circumference of the face of the bullet. So you get a lot of surface area punching through. You got a real big hole here with this particular load. And with something the size of the 450 Bushmaster or 4570, you know, similar cartridges that are bigger than, say, 308 caliber, once you get into your mid bore and larger bore cartridges, you don't need that massive, massive 2X plus expansion to really wind up with a big hole. So we're starting out big. It's only getting bigger. And then velocity wise, we were pretty good. We came in a little bit lower than factory spec. Nothing new there. That's typically how it goes. We typically don't hit the factory spec. Some loads actually get closer than others. This one, we were within 64 feet per second on average, which is pretty darn good. I'm really happy with that. And let me tell you, with these 450 Bushmaster loads and those lightweight Ruger American Ranch rifles, you can tell on your shoulder that these things are punching hard. And then penetration was excellent as well. It averaged 25 inches and very consistent penetration. If you're going after any deer in North America, this is going to be more than enough. I think this would make a great big black bear load and even stuff bigger if you wanted to. And then on to kinetic energy with a 250 grain bullet going on average 2186 feet per second we're looking at 2653 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle and that is right there in line with most of your hunting 450 bushmaster loads they seem to come in at about that 2600 foot pound mark and this is right there with it and a few videos ago if you watched it i reviewed the hornady black 250 grain ftx load in 450 bushmaster and I had mentioned that that's sort of the load that I'm going to judge other 450 Bushmaster loads by because of how well that it did. And I think this Barnes Vortex load did everything that that one did and then some. We had more expansion, much more consistent weight retention and consistent expansion, and just a hair deeper penetration. But penetration was almost right on the money the same thing. So overall, I think this is an excellent load, an excellent choice for the 450 Bushmaster. If I was going to be hunting with a 450, this would be towards the top of my list, if not at the top. And if you've used this particular load on game in the field, let me and everybody else know how you liked it and how it did for you. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me, how can you be a part of this and help support the channel? Well, I got to work, and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there.